this video I'm going to create the page size on the Adobe spreadsheet. Sometimes when you create spreadsheets you want to be able to print them off and you need to be able to assess how that spreadsheet is going to look on your page when you print it off. So what we want to do is we want to open up OpenOffice by clicking on the icon again, open up the spreadsheet. Now you can see here when we open up the spreadsheet at the start there is no indication to where your page size starts and where it and where it finishes. So if we were to put something in here we have got no idea how it would look on our sheet of paper that we are going to print off. So to start we need to go to format and select page from the print from the drop down menu and we want to select page from these tabs and you can see here on the page we have the format so we're going to have A4 and when you select A4 it automatically sets it to these sizes an A4 sheet is 21 by 29.7 and we want it in portrait you can see on the right here we have a, a picture of how your sheet's going to look if you change it to landscape then obviously we have the portrait of uh, the orientation is in landscape but we want to keep it in portrait your margins are 2, 2, 2 and 2 so your left, right, top and bottom margins which are these gaps here between the inner black line and the outer black line the outer black line is the edge of the paper this inner black line is the margin and the gap between is your margin size so they are all set to 2 centimeters and once you have got your uh, size set, you click OK and these lines appear on the grid on the spreadsheet. Now this line isn't the edge of the paper, this line is the margin. So from the left of column A to the right of column G is the margin. So the, the edge of the paper is on the other side of the margin. So on this black line you still have two centimeters to the edge of the paper so all this space within this black line to the to the far left of A is the space on your page within the margins and the same goes for the bottom black line down here we are going to I'm going to open up this two and we're going to put a border in here I'm going to create the cells from A to G with a border and click that and click make it the full border and click OK and we now have a border we will put it in here for a header this is my new page and we click OK we, we don't click OK we click away from the, the border so that we activate where the the text is. We go up to File on the menu at the top, to the drop down menu then we click on Page Preview. So we can see our page. So we know our lines, our border, is within the parameters of the page, within the two margins. We click Close Preview. If we were to create this border over that black line, so we extend it to H, click OK, so our border now goes over the black line, the margin line, into H, we go to File, Print Preview, we see we've lost the edge of the line because it is now out of the margin area, so we close, so we reset that, and we go to the bottom, and the same goes for the bottom, this black line here between 52 and 53 is the bottom margin we create a border here format cell and that. we click OK you can see our border here goes to the black line of the, for the margin we click select page preview and you can see we have our black line at the bottom where the margin is it is visible click close preview if we extended that the same as we did previously format cells and click OK 
we now go to print preview page preview and you can see the line disappears so that is because the border is out with the margin so we reset when we look at the page preview you can see here we've got sheet one and page one at the bottom these are the headers and the footers you can keep them if you were to print this sheet off you would this sheet one and page one would be printed with your sheet so if you wanted to get rid of your header and your footer just close preview go to format go to page and you can see what header and footer here so we go to header we want header off so you deselect header on and you deselect footer on click OK and we go back to the page preview and they have disappeared another point you can see here our border here the border we've created this box we've created with the borders it's slightly to the left of the page it's not central so the gap here this edge here is up against our margin whereas this uh, edge here is not so we want to centralize our box in the center of the page uh, to do this we close preview we go up to format and select page we select page you can see we've got table alignment so if we wanted to to centralize it vertically we would select vertical but we want to centralize it horizontally because you can see with this picture here everything's lying to the left hand side of the page at the minute so we want table alignment we want to select horizontal you can see that sets everything to the center of the page we click OK although you don't see any difference here when we go to the page preview everything is centralized in the page so your box here made up with the borders is now in the center of the plate or center of the page so we close preview and that is the basic concept of centralizing your content into the center of a page and to select the size of the page that you require for your spreadsheet hope this has helped and buy this now.